Chapter 3 of The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie delves into the complexities of friendship and survival on the Spokane Indian Reservation through the lens of the protagonist, Arnold Spirit Jr., commonly known as Junior. Following the death of his dog, Oscar, Junior grapples with feelings of insignificance and the desire to vanish from his community. However, his best friend Rowdy, a figure of resilience amidst adversity, convinces Junior to stay, highlighting that apart from Rowdy's own companionship and Junior's immediate family, there would be no considerable notice of his disappearance. This interaction underscores Junior's perceived value within his community, illustrating a profound sense of isolation. Rowdy, despite his tough exterior, harbors a chaotic home life dominated by an abusive, alcoholic father, leading him to seek refuge with Junior, whose home provides a stark contrast, absent of violence despite the presence of alcoholism. This dynamic offers a glimpse into the diverse experiences of Native American families dealing with similar social issues. Moreover, Rowdy's protective nature over Junior is exemplified when he insists on accompanying him to the tribe's annual powwow, promising safeguarding from inevitable altercations, a testament to their deep-rooted friendship formed since birth. The powwow itself, described as a vibrant congregation of storytelling, dance, and communal engagement, ironically doubles as a battleground for Junior, who dreads attending due to the physical confrontations he attracts. Rowdy's attempt to protect Junior inadvertently leads to a conflict, wherein Junior's laughter at Rowdy's stumble incites a violent reaction, demonstrative of Rowdy's combustible temper. The sequence of events that follow, Junior's encounter with the Andrus brothers, and Rowdy's subsequent act of retribution by defiling their sacred symbols of identity, eyebrows and braids, further illuminates the aggressive measures taken to assert dominance and settle scores within the reservation. Notwithstanding Rowdy's aggressive tendencies, his softer side is revealed through his affection for comic books, a shared interest that fortifies his bond with Junior. This aspect of Rowdy's character, coupled with his propensity for escapism, mirrors the broader theme of seeking solace and expression in the realms of imagination amidst the grim realities of reservation life. In summary, Chapter 3 presents a nuanced exploration of friendship, identity, and resilience against the backdrop of socioeconomic and familial strife on the Spokane Indian Reservation. Junior and Rowdy's relationship, marked by loyalty, protection, and shared vulnerabilities, serves as a beacon of hope and understanding in their turbulent surroundings, ultimately shaping Junior's journey of self-discovery and survival. So what did you think about this video? Please leave a comment down below and let me know what books you would like to see in the next video. Signing off, this has been another Bookly Crash Course.